In the following demonstration, we are going to create a bomb for a functional location. In order to create bombs for functional locations, we need to have components already created and available. We also typically use two different sessions to create the bomb. One session we use to view the results as we create the bomb, and the second session we use to actually do the creation. I'm going to start with my first session, and I'm going to start with transaction IH01, the structural display which is found under Logistics, Plant Maintenance, Management of Technical Objects, Functional Location, IH01 Structural Display. I'm going to activate the Structural Display. I'm going to enter the base location for my functional location. In most manufacturing uh, facilities, uh, plant maintenance relevant facilities or service management areas, this generally represents the plant number or the customer identifier at the beginning. After entering this transaction, I'm going to select the checkbox for bomb explosion as well as location hierarchy. Uh, we can check some of the other checkboxes, but they are not necessarily relevant at this time. I'm going to click the Execute button, and then I'm going to expand the arrow next to my functional location for which I'm going to create my bomb. I'm going to create a bomb for the functional location 1000-WHS-DO for my docks and locks. I'm going to leave this session open. I'm going to click on the other session which I have hidden beneath and I'm going to navigate to transaction IB11 which falls under the menu path logistics, plant maintenance, management of, function of technical objects, bill of material, functional location bomb, IB11 create. I'm going to enter this transaction and I'm going to identify the functional location for which I'm going to create the bomb. As with other plant maintenance objects, it is plant specific and we use a bomb usage of 4 for plant maintenance. I can copy this bomb from another functional location or a material if I have one that is already set up and close to what I need. Otherwise I can click enter to continue and I'm in the bomb grid. I'm going to provide this uh, bomb with multiple components. I'm going to specify the item category of L meaning that I have a SAP stock part number and I'm going to provide it with a quantity of one. Uh, I'm going to do this for my second part. And again, I, as with the other bomb transactions, I can have a quantity of uh, more than one, but generally have a quantity of one for plant maintenance. The unit of measure will default in from my material, and I do have the option of other item categories. In this particular case, I can add uh, structural items, which we will cover in a, another area, and stock items, which we have just done, and typically I will have text items or document items as well. Once I have all my desired components and all the item categories, I will click enter to validate my data. I can at this point add item text, which is underneath the details. Again, the item text fields are used to uh, provide more information about how this component is used at this location. When I'm complete, I can save the bomb. As soon as I save the bomb, I can see the positive message that the bomb is created for my functional location. I'm going to click on my other session, and I'm simply going to hit the refresh button. I now have an arrow out to the side, and I can see that I have two components that are now identified to my functional location. This functional location has a bomb with two components. I can see that they're stock components and if I wish I can add my item texts to this display. Under environment, excuse me, settings, field selection, component, And here, I will now search the right side for the pool of all of my possible fields. 
and I will simply add them to the left hand side in order to get them to display. Once I've done this, click enter to continue and I can now see the item text on my display. I've created a bomb for a functional location. A very simple example of a bomb. I'm simply going to uh, back out and finish with that transaction.